The 46th Gate River Run kicked off at downtown Jacksonville today with over 16,000 runners participating in the big event. And Emily Sisons claimed her third straight women's title today. But this year's $5,000 equalizer bonus, that went to the Olympic steeplechaser Hillary Bohr. You see him on the left. Sports anchor Cole Pepper shows us the turning point in today's run. Weeks before the start of the Gate River Run, the decision was made to reduce the stagger between the start of the elite men and women. It went from six minutes to five. The reason? Emily Sisson. Sisson had obliterated the field the past two years, and race organizers wanted to see more drama at the end of the race. This year, they got it. Sisson took control of the race early and was the first to hit the Hart Bridge. Then Hillary Bohr, who had broken away from the men's pack at the 10K point, hit the bridge himself. And on the downhill side of the Hart Bridge, he caught her. From there, Bohr cruised to his first Gate River Run Championship and the $5,000 equalizer bonus. You know, I thought I was not going to catch Emily. Like, seriously, I think you slow down today because she normally runs 47. To catch her, it needs to, you need to run an American record. So my best, like, it's hard today. If I run for the three low, I may have a chance. And uh, I looked at 10K speed, it was 28.35, and I was like, Maybe I can catch him, so that's when I started pushing. Sisson made history, earning her third straight win at the gate. She's the second woman in the 46-year history of the event to win three in a row. I feel tired, but I feel happy with it. That was a, a good run in a solid block of marathon training, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. For Bohr, it's his first win at the gate after he finished third last year. Quite a day at the Gate River Run. Cole Pepper, Channel 4, the local station.